Ron, what'd you make of this one tonight? Uh, they put it on us. Put it on us real good, you know. And uh, started with the transition buckets. I think they had 34 in the first half, and obviously you can't uh, you can't recover from that. So uh, they played a hell of a game, and they uh, they was uh, clicking on all facets of the game. They seem to be a lot more physical tonight than they usually. Are. No. Before the Christmas game, LeBron, you had expressed some maybe concerns about trying to figure out how to defend them with almost no time to prepare. And it went relatively well, but tonight it seemed like they were able to exploit some things that they could have Well, I mean, they got off to a good lead in the first game on Christmas, and we was able to finally, we got some timely stops in the fourth quarter. Kyrie got going, and, you know, we was able to get back into that game. It's a dangerous team. They got so many different options, so many guys that can not only create for themselves, but they do a great job of having guys that can create for others. You know, and I said it before, when you have, you know, Steph, Katie, Draymond, uh, Iguodala, Livingston, Zaza, those guys can create for other guys. You know, so it always keeps your defense uh, off balance. The collision with Draymond, what happened? Uh, his, uh, I think his shoulder hit me in the face. Um, but it happened so fast, I didn't even know who it was. Um, you know, but I'm all right. I'm a football player. Is there anything about today's outcome that reflects on where you guys or what you guys been playing like the last couple of weeks? Uh, well, we're still a work in progress. I've been telling you that. I mean, it's not, it's nothing new. It's nothing new under the sun. We're a work in progress. We still got to, you know, continue to get better. We've had some injuries this year that's kind of hampered us. We've had some guys sit out that's hampered us a little bit. So, uh, you know, we still got, you know, we got a lot of time still. You know, which is a, a positive, but it's no, it's no secret. Um, so how we've been playing lately is, you know, we made a trade. We lose our starting, our starting two guard. You know, Kyrie went out for a few games. Uh, you know, tonight, Kev wasn't able to finish the game. So um, we know we're capable of when we're fully healthy. Ron, you played these games. Does such a great job. Season. On how's this? How's this rivalry rank among all the rivalries in your career? You I, I don't think it's a rivalry. Um, I think it's just two great teams just have aspirations. I don't believe I've ever had a rivalry in the NBA. It's just too many guys move and go places, and teams are different look. You know, it's just, you know, it's it's totally different from you know the you know the the 80s when obviously we saw you know the Celtics and the Lakers go at it so much, and uh, you know I don't look at it as a rivalry. How did uh, Steph get loose tonight? You guys have done such a great job on him during last year's finals and the first game this time. What ha what was different? About it this time. What was different? I mean, he's the MVP. Yeah. He's a two-time MVP. I don't, you know, you don't, you don't, do you expect anything less of him? Um, they, you know, he put himself in position to be successful. He had nine first-quarter assists, which then allowed him to get off because he was keying in on other guys. But you know, it's no, uh, it's no secret. You know, he's capable of doing that every night. I feel like you guys early on, obviously turnovers are a factor in this game, but maybe settled for too many long-range shots early instead of attacking that, that created some of their transition points. You know, we're a long-range shooting team at times. That's that's a part of our game. That was not the, the case. Um, the case we just didn't get back in transition. It's something we'd be better at um, going on the season, not just against the Warriors, but against everybody. Joe, last one. Um, I mean, you may have already said it. You mentioned that when fully healthy, you know you guys are capable. Of. But what is it? that just allows this team to get over really the nights and kind of things, the Warriors. You had one last year, 34, this one, 35, or whatever. How do you, you know, how, how do you get past that? You watch film, you see ways you can get better. And it's a long season. It's an 82-game season. We're at the halfway point, I believe, right now. I think we're 28 and 11, I believe. We're 29 and 11. They put us at 40. So, you know, you... Can't let these type of games, you know, hang over your head too long because then you can have a three or four game stretch where you're not playing good basketball because you're worried about what happened in a certain city or it's against a certain team. So, um, you know, we got to continue to get better. We, you know, which we will. Our coaching staff will put us in a position to be successful, and then we got to go out and play no matter who's in the lineup. But, you know, like I said, it's been tough for us, you know, over the last couple of weeks just with the injuries and guys in and out of the lineup. And um, but we'll figure it out. We're, we're a veteran ball club, and we'll figure it out.